Why do people call me doctor? Last night I literally went to sleep at 6.30. That's where we're at in life. I just can't do the kidneys. Welcome back to another bloggy blog, bloggy blog, bloggy blog. Yeah. If you're new around here, let me introduce myself. Hello, my name is Tay. I am a third year medical student at UCLA, documenting this journey to the MD. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button to stay in the loop and join our fam. As you can see, I am in the hospital. I am on my third week of my internal medicine rotation. This is my first rotation ever in third year and it has already been so crazy if you have not watched my first two vlogs go check them out you will see exactly how things go around here and it's just y'all it's so insane so recap i got up at 6 a.m this morning i got dressed got ready came straight into the hospital i um, sat down at the computer i looked up information about my patient i was actually off for the weekend that was my first two days off after working two weeks straight, I had to check in on things that happened over the weekend with the patient, make sure that I was caught up on his care. And then we actually got a new attending this week. So I had been working with the same attending for the previous two weeks. We have a new attending this week. So he does things very differently. He does walk around. So normally we would have sat in this room right here and just talked about our patient. And then we would have went and kind of walked around to see them. He does it very differently. I do not see my patient first thing in the morning. We actually just go as a team and do walk around. So we'll stand outside of each patient room, talk about the patient, then walk in, tell the patient the plan, and then move on to the next patient. So a little bit different. I wasn't totally used to it, but that is what we just did. So I looked up my patient information, gathered the plan um, and kind of my thoughts, and then we went to see my patient. So, the only bum thing, or I guess the only thing I'm bummed about with respect to this way is it seems like I get less time with the patients. Um, so I think I'm still gonna go see them outside of rounds and just check in to see how they're doing because the conversation was so quick. It was just, here's your plan and we're outie. I get that, you know, things need to be efficient, but I, I enjoy talking to my patients. So I think I'm gonna try to loop back and see um, my guy again today just to see how he's doing. Um, but yeah, that's what I just did. And now I'm back in the room. My team is still going on rounds because I have morning report, which is basically like a teaching session for med students and interns um, or whoever really wants to go. And that starts in about two minutes. So I'm gonna head over to morning report that goes until 9 a.m. And then, I don't know, we reconnect as a team and go about the day. Today should be a pretty chill day. It is our pre-call day. We're not admitting any new patients. We're just taking care of the ones that we already have. So should be okay, but tomorrow's gonna be wild. So yeah, let's grab our iPad and head to Morning Report. All right, so I'm just gonna go chat with some patients, see how they're doing. Since now I have some extra time and I didn't get to go on round, so I just wanna check in and make sure they're doing okay. All right, I just saw my patient. He's doing well. I'm really glad I went back to talk to him. But y'all, could be a little loud over here because I'm by the service elevators. Why do people call me doctor? I don't, do I just carry myself as a doctor? I guess I have the stethoscope around my neck, but the nurses all call me doctor and I'm always like, I'm a medical student. Someone literally, as I was just walking, was like, good morning, doctor. It stresses me out. It's also cool, but it stresses me out because I am not a doctor. Your girl is not a doctor, not anywhere close. But yeah, so my patient's doing well. I'm glad I went to see him. Sorry, there's some overhead error vent doing something um i'm glad i got to talk to him you could tell he just appreciated 
that extra time. I was literally only able to be with him for like a minute and a half this morning during rounds. So, excuse me. Hello. Good morning. So I'm glad that I went back, um, but now I'm gonna go finish my notes. All right, y'all, we are done for the day. I'm wearing my beanie because it's raining today and we not ruining our hair, but it was a pretty good day today. As you can see, it's still light out, very chill because it was pre-call. So no new patients today, um, nothing really going on with my patient. I just chatted with him a couple times today, which was nice. And now I'm headed home early because there's nothing left for me to do and my interns are the best and released me early. We had didactics today after lunch. So we had a lunch talk on I think liver disease or something. It was actually pretty cool. And then we had a didactic session on narrative medicine where we learned kind of like storytelling through medicine or medicine through storytelling, one of those ways. And yeah, and then I had finished my patient note already earlier in the day. So that is it. So now I'm gonna head home, eat, um, probably do some actual studying since I didn't wake up early this morning and study before I came in. And then that'll be it. Pretty chill day. Tomorrow's gonna be a little crazier. We have a long call. That's when we admit new patients and it gets a little wild. So I'm feeling good though. Good morning, everyone. So it is four something in the morning. It's about 4.40 now. I got up at four, um, washed my face, got my life together, and now we're here. So you didn't see me last night because I came home and then I went to sleep. So if you haven't seen any of my previous third year vlogs, I think I started doing this last week where I wake up before I'm supposed to go into the hospital and I do some studying because by the time I come home, no studying is getting done, okay? I'm just so tired. Even when it's a short day, I'm so tired. So my new thing has been coming home, eating, spending a little bit of time with Austin, and then going to sleep. So last night, I literally went to sleep at 6.30. That's where we're at in life. Um, so I woke up at four, and I don't have to be in until seven. So now we have some uninterrupted study time. Everyone else in the world is asleep, or I guess everyone else, in this house is asleep and I can study. So I'm up, I've made my hot chocolate greens from Beam and now I'm gonna do a mix of online med ed and some UWorld questions. I'm probably gonna do one online med ed video, maybe two, and then spend the rest of the time doing some UWorld practice questions. The good thing is I get a lot of studying done when I'm actually in the hospital, um, but today is long call so it's gonna be busy. So let's get this work in now, all right? Make sure that if there is someone out there who moved Erica's body after either killing her or realizing she overdosed, they work to make sure that if that person or person is her. finished my studying I could always use more time but hopefully I'll get some more questions done at work I don't know it's the reviewing the questions that takes so much time so you have to not only answer all the questions but then every single question has a full explanation and especially if you got it wrong you've got to read it and so I've also been making Anki cards super quick out of the explanations for the ones I got wrong and the ones I got right that I don't know why I got right so that takes time. But now it's about 6.45. It's time for me to head over to the hospital and hopefully have a good day in clinic seeing patients. So 
Catch you later. Let's go. I went and saw my first patient. I actually pre-rounded on him today. He's doing great, love him. And now I'm gonna head to morning report, which is our morning meeting where we learn about something. Who knows what, so that's where I'm headed. All right, so we just finished rounds. I don't have much to do. Two of the patients we saw Four, two. Four, one, did not like their breakfast, up. so I'm going to get them some food. You gotta do it. I was able to get all my patients food as I was checking in on one of the last ones, one of the ones that I've stopped by and seen and just talked to before his pressure bottomed out and now he is being taken to the ICU. Very crazy to be in there alone with him. Um, and then all of a sudden there's 50 people in there and he just looks so confused. I felt so bad for him. Message to all of you who are going to be doctors or nurses or working in healthcare field. Always remember to talk to the patient. It ended up happening. They ended up telling him what was going on. But just that initial influx of people, I, it's so scary. And to just be pricked everywhere and have IVs started. I know things need to happen fast, but just never forget that it's like, it's a person. Um, so that was really tough to see. And so he was taken up to the ICU and I hope everything is okay for him. So, I mean, that's a sad place to end on. I'm not ending the vlog, but it's lunchtime now. So I'm gonna go to this lunch talk and then we'll start admitting new patients and I will pick up a new one and that will be that, so. Let's go. Finally headed home. My goodness. What a day it's been. Guys. Ooh, why do I get the most complicated patients? It's great for learning, but also I know nothing. Nothing. Floor two, floor one. We'll talk when I get outside. I'm like shocked that it is light outside. I thought it was gonna be pitch black. It is indeed quite light outside, it's quite nice. All right, so let's recap everything that just happened because it was insane. So I think the last time I saw you was maybe lunch. I don't even know. But we basically started admitting patients at 2 p.m. and we cap at eight new patients, I think, something like that. Um, so we got a new admit right off the bat from the ED, presenting with um, chest pain, but also found to have crazy kidney numbers. Um, his, his labs were, were wild um, for acute kidney injury. And of course, I get assigned the patient with acute kidney injury. We all know, if you watch any of my pre-clinical vlogs, me, kidneys, I just can't do the kidneys. I know I need to change that mindset, but I'm like, of course I get assigned the patient that has the kidney injury. Maybe this is an opportunity for learning, for growth. I don't know. So I go see him with my new attending. I'm used to doing these patient interviews alone, which is when I'm most comfortable. But my attending is like, you know, he's new. He doesn't know really who I am. So he's like, all right, let's go do this together. And I'm like, oh God. So I go to the ED, I do the patient interview, it goes really well, really great guy, um, and the interview went, went well. I think I asked everything I was supposed to ask, and got all the information that I was supposed to, but now it's like, what is going on with this guy? I have no idea. And so then I have to write the full H&P note. Luckily, I didn't have to present to the attending because he was with me, so he already knew everything that was happening. But like writing this H and P note and trying to figure out the assessment and plan portion, which is where you use like your clinical reasoning to order tests, and it was just so much. So my interns are amazing and helped me out so much um, with this H and P. And now I'm headed home. But I think tomorrow is going to be a crazy day because I don't know what to do with this guy. 
Not that I really know anything at all, but so I'm gonna go home, read up on some stuff uh, related to his case. And so probably some stuff on acute kidney injury, um, lung problems, it's, it's a whole lot. <laughs> But otherwise, it was a really good day. Uh, my new attending is amazing. He's really into teaching, which I really appreciate as someone who, again, doesn't know anything. Um, but he's super nice about it. So I don't feel like I'm getting pimped. Look up that term for those of you who do not know. Not the, not the actual term, the, the medical term. It's a term in the medical community. But yeah, now I'm gonna head home. It's 6.45. I'm gonna head home to go to sleep crazy so that I can wake up early and study before I come in. Rounds tomorrow are at 8 a.m. instead of 9 a.m., which means I have to be here an hour earlier than normal. Now I have a patient. I got a pre-round. I'm probably going to get here at 6. So let's go home, get some sleep, and uh, do this all tomorrow. All right. See you later. Bye. Mm. Good morning. It's four something in the morning and I'm up, been up since 4.15 today cause I didn't get to go to sleep till like 8.30 um, and I'm still tired. It was a long day yesterday but I'm ready to go and I need to get there a little bit earlier today because rounds are earlier today and I have two patients now that I need to see before rounds. So my goal is to, is to uh, get there around 6.30 today and then see my patients and have that time. But it's time to study, and my resident actually texted me to read up on the four T's of anterior mediastinal masses for tomorrow, for today. So I'm gonna do that first, and then we'll get some studying done. All right, what day is it? It's Wednesday. Please tell me my day off is Saturday. It is, I think. Oh, bless. Saturday I have off. Okay, I'm just tired. Um, but let's get this work in. Let's do it. finished looking up the four T's of medial sinal masses printed it out just in case I need to reference it while I'm there today it's now 603 so that took all my time um it's fine it's for my patient it's for my learning so I count that as some study time um, so now I'm gonna get dressed and head into the hospital I'm trying to get there at 630 so I'm gonna try to leave here in about 20 minutes so that I have enough time to pre-round all my patients, get together my thoughts on what could be possibly going on, and then um, do rounds at eight. All right, checking in. It is 11.45 in the morning and it has already been such a busy morning. We did rounds. But let me see, I got here, I saw my two patients this morning. They are both doing well. Um, then I had to scramble together to get my presentation. I didn't know what type of presentation I was gonna be giving today because again, first week working with this new attending, he wanted me to give a full HMP, but super, super fast. He's so quick and super efficient. So had to scramble to get my HMP presentation together because I thought I was gonna be doing a SOAP presentation which is more of an abbreviated, just updated presentation. But it went well, went well. Then we went around, saw all the patients super fast. Then I just finished my note um, on my second patient and now it's almost lunchtime. But my first patient, or I guess my patient that I got at the end of last week is going home today. So I just stopped by his room to say goodbye, but he was asleep and he has had so much trouble sleeping here. So I did not wake him up. He's set to leave around 2 p.m. I have lectures and stuff until two, so I'll try to say goodbye when I come back, but if I don't, I'll be sad, but hopefully he'll be okay. Um, and then yeah, that should be the end of it for today. There's not much to do on the list. I have an hour of lunch with a lunch talk. I don't know what it will be. And then I have an hour of didactic since it's Wednesday, which is gonna be on something. I also don't know. 
So we'll see, but pretty, pretty good day today. Um, no new patients, so we're looking good. p.m. my interns just went to sign out which is where they basically talk about all the patients that we had during the day sign them over to the patients <laughs> sign them over to the doctors who are going to be taking over the night shift so that you know everyone knows who needs to be taken care of and now it's time for me to head home um I've actually been done with work for the past like hour or so I didn't really have much to do because I finished my note but I was just hanging out with my interns because I love them so much and today is their last day. So tomorrow I will get brand new interns. I will keep my same resident who went home today because he was on the overnight call um, last night. So we'll keep him, really like him, but two new interns, which I'm kind of nervous about. I'm not really down with all this switching of people, but it's the nature of medicine. New attending is great. Um, in our in our downtime, when I came back from my didactics, he showed me how to do an ear exam because that's something we didn't get to do because of COVID. Neck up, couldn't tell you how to examine it. So he brought his own little, I don't even know what it's called, the ear scope thing. What the heck is it called? Y'all, I don't know what it's called, but the thing that, you know, the doctor looks in your ear with, he brought his own and let me look in his ears and I was able to look in my intern's ears um, and just see what a normal ear canal, eardrum, tympanic membrane looks like. So. That was really great and I really appreciated it. He's such a great teacher and is so enthusiastic and that's what I need, the enthusiasm and the not getting mad at me when I don't know things. So good day today. I am headed home now. I am just going to eat, maybe do a little bit of studying since I didn't get to do much studying this morning, but honestly, wishful thinking. Wishful thinking, I'm trying to be in bed at 6.30 and it's 4 p.m. right now, so that doesn't really leave much time. But we'll see great day and uh yeah Morning. Check in oh it was hard to get up today it really was i'm tired <laughs> i'm tired i'm thinking back to last week i don't know how i worked 11 days in a row because i'm only on day four and i need my saturday so that is what's keeping me going is thinking about sleeping on saturday but otherwise doing okay um, I came home, hung out with Austin, ate dinner, went to sleep pretty early, and now I'm up again and I'm gonna do some studying before I head in. Today I'm gonna try to do some UWorld questions because haven't had a chance to do a lot of practice questions. So I'm gonna do that, learn from the UWorld questions, and then have a great day. We got it, let's go, let's go, come on. <laughs>
All right, y'all, it's already been a busy morning. We're on short call, so we're admitting new patients and I just got another new patient. Um, it's looking like it's a skin infection, we'll see. I did watch an online med ed video on skin infections, so I'm prepared. It seems like it's cellulitis, we'll see. Um, I think we'll go see him after rounds. He's in the emergency department, but I already saw my first patient today um, and he's doing well. So I'm gonna present him on rounds and then head to the ED with the team and see the new patients. It looks like we're almost capped for the day too, which is good. It might be an early day. I think we only need one more admin to finish out our list. So I'm gonna finish these notes and, or at least the note on my new patient, not on my new patient, on my old patient. Um, the new patient I haven't seen yet, so I can't write the note. But yeah, good start to the day. I need a nap already, but it's okay. We're gonna keep going. All right, check in later. <gasps> okay, bye. actually kind of late it's 5 40 but you know what this is kind of the time I expect to stay on short call days this is when we're admitting from 6 a.m. to 2 p.m. but when you get admissions at 2 p.m. and then you don't go see them till 4 p.m. you end up like me um, so I got a new patient today I think I told you earlier I was gonna get a new patient in the morning that one turned out to not be my patient He's not staying here. Um, so I got a different patient. It's a woman. Women are hard to come by in the veterans hospitals, um, as you can imagine. So this is my second patient I've had that's a female. And I really like working with women. Maybe I'll be a future ob guy. Don't quote me, don't quote me, we'll see. Um, but I went down to the ED, saw her, checked in. She's such, such a great spirit and I'm really gonna enjoy taking care of her. I don't think she'll be here for very long, which is sad for me because I like her, but great for her because she'll get to go home soon. Um, but she is who I will come see tomorrow. And yeah, it was, I was stressed. I'm always stressed whenever I get a new patient because you guys, you have to like, you don't have much time. Everyone works so much faster than me because they know what they're doing and I don't. So I had to look up her chart really quick figure out why she was coming in, any past medical history, any previous hospitalization she's had. Then you have to go to the ED, you have to do the full interview. I like to talk to my patients, so that takes me like at least an hour. She's a talker too, which is great. So then I'm talking to her for so long, then I have to do a physical exam. Then I have to come back and synthesize everything that I just got, all of that information. I have to figure out what the plan is, which as someone who has no clinical judgment skills, how am I supposed to do that? So I had to figure out the plan. And then after that, my brain just froze. That's where I'm at right now. Oh, then after that, I have to put all of my thoughts together into a cohesive presentation for my attending. So I'm talking with my interns, I'm talking with the residents. I'm like, what are we doing for this problem? I actually had a pretty good idea for um, this patient, it wasn't too complicated, like my other patients were just so complicated. Had a good idea, so we talked about it, then I had to like literally organize all my thoughts. Can you imagine talking to someone for an hour and then having to synthesize everything you said in a short, sweet, it takes a lot. And then after that, I had to write my notes. So I was able to scramble, I'm always scrambling when I'm trying to get my presentations right. I gave my presentation, it went super well. My attending said I did well. He said I did a good job developing a differential diagnosis. So not just saying it's one thing, using some sort of clinical reasoning to figure out what could be going on for each problem. Um, so yeah, it went well. And then I just finished my note. I had to write a full HMP, which is the longest note. And now I'm just now getting out. And I gotta do this all again tomorrow because tomorrow is short call again, but tomorrow's Friday. And that means I get to go home on the weekend. Well, at least on Saturday, I have one day off this week. But so that was my day. It was crazy and I'm feeling really good though. I was feeling kind of down the first half of the day. I just, I don't know what it was. Maybe because I didn't really have a patient. I didn't have that patient interaction. I'm so annoying. Um, Cause my first patient went home, but then I got a new patient and now I'm happy again. So now I'm gonna head home, eat dinner, go to sleep, wake up, repeat last day and we get a day off let's knock it out of the park there are some things i want to read up on so that i come prepared to take care of my patient and to answer questions from the attending 
all right see you later bye all right good morning good morning good morning uh i'm so tired but last day before we get a day off i'm so excited to sleep in tomorrow but i got up at my usual time today and sat down to study i watched two videos on kidney disease this morning because all of my patients have kidney disease nowadays and you know your girl's history with the kidneys is not where it needs to be so i watched a, a video on acute kidney injury and chronic kidney disease super helpful like my residents interns they probably think i'm so dumb when they ask me kidney questions and i'm like i have no idea because online med ed just laid it out so simply it makes so much sense in my brain now so as you can see I took my notes it really helps solidify things when i write them down so i probably won't ever look at this again really because all of this is in anki cards and that's where i'll really get most of my active recall but it's my alarm it's a gray's anatomy tone yes that's how invested i am so all of this is in anki that's what i will use to actually study but it really helps me like as i'm listening and watching the video to write it down it just makes more sense to me so that's what i did and i'm feeling really good i think our lecture today because we have lectures monday wednesday friday is also on kidney disease so i think i'll be really prepared to hopefully apply some of this information today so i'm feeling good so now it's time for me to get dressed and head into the hospital to go see my patient i'm so excited to see her and talk to her so that's what i'm gonna do that's why my alarm was going off to let me know it's time to go and yeah we'll we'll have a great day we're on short call again today i don't think i'll get a new patient i'm kind of hoping i don't because i'm off tomorrow and i don't like getting a new patient and then like just totally leaving and not knowing what's going on with them so we'll see we'll see but i will focus on the one patient i have and taking care of her so i'm gonna get dressed and head on in and hopefully we have a great day some feedback where do I go from my attending and it looks like I'm doing a good job y'all and that's for my new attending he doesn't really know me so headed back just finished lunch and to see my patient let's go your girl is outside I'm outside I'm outside because I get to go home it is like 2 30 and I am done for the day. Feels good. We didn't get any new admits today, which is crazy. No new admits means no new anything. Um, so I took care of my patient from yesterday. Oh, it's windy. Who we did get as an admit. She's doing well. She's going home today. I'm off tomorrow. And then I'll be back on Sunday for a long call, which I'll probably get two new patients. So that'll be a crazy day. But I get to rest. Sunday will be a crazy day, but that's for another vlog. Um, I'm home today. I get to rest, relax, and have tomorrow off. God is good. God is good. But today was a great day. My patient's going home. I was able to go back and talk to her for a while um, and just, you know, really connect and make sure that she felt heard, which was great. And we had our lecture today on kidneys, which is exactly what I watched this morning, which was super, super helpful. So overall, just a really good day. And my attending told me that I'm doing well and that he's proud of me. And I think things are going well. So I'm gonna head home. I don't know if I'll ever pick up this camera again. Um, so just in case I don't, thank you so much for tuning in to another vloggy vlog, vloggy vlog, vloggy vlog. I hope you enjoyed. I will see you in the next vlog on Sunday. Make sure to like, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Okay, bye.